Hello everybody and welcome to our last crusade or the rise of a new world episode uh, 5 anime review. Some interesting stuff happened this week. We got the big old fights, not exactly the way I was expecting it to go, but we got some big old fights and that's an exciting thing. We saw a plot twist that I genuinely did not see coming. Like, am I just, am I an idiot here? Or like, it was it actually pretty well like in the, oh hey, didn't see that one coming. I thought something would happen. But it's the what happened that I got completely wrong. Uh, also, there was that thing that happened at the end with the, the vortex. So I think that's going to have some consequences. I'll talk about it when I get to it. But uh, yeah, also in this episode we had a lot of CG. It didn't look that bad. May am I just that like desensitized now? I genuinely, in the grand scheme of things, I thought it looked alright. Quite frankly. Let me know if, if I'm wrong. I probably am. But uh, yeah. Let's get into the episode, see exactly how everything went down, and do this thing. We begin the episode with Alice at the nearby Vortex base camp thingamadoogie. She's there trying to figure out what's going on. The Masked Guy, Masked Lord, I think that was his name, he doesn't really have a real name, he's just called The Masked Lord. He shows up and is all like... I'm not doing any bad, any bad, I promise. I'm not going to use this for myself. He's a bad guy. That's, he's, 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 I'm glad that, like, Alice isn't an idiot here. Like, she knows he's a bad guy. She's not pretending she doesn't know. She's like, well, I just got to... You, you're not going to give me nothing. I know you're not going to give me nothing. So I'm just going to have to do this myself, basically. And then the masked girl shows up. Remember her from last... The end of last week? Her name is, like, Kissing. Like, Kissing. Like, mwah. Kissing. That's her name. Very strange name. Um, but who am I to judge, you know? Maybe my name's strange in, uh, in, in their land. I don't know. Who knows? Um, she's all shy and stuff. She hides behind the Masked Lord instead of talking to Alice like a normal person. How rude. Uh, she also then asks the Masked Lord guy, uh, Alice, that does this, uh, are you going to use it for all-out war with the Empire? And he's like, of course I am. That's what everybody wants. And it's like, no, we don't. Like, Alice is absolutely in the no, we don't camp. We just want... Peace, you know, equality. Peace is the important thing here, not war. War is bad. I just want Iska and Alice to start their own country. At this, I've said it before, but that's that's the easy way out of this, you know? Easy solution right there. Or build a spaceship. That's your second solution. That one might be a bit less easy, though. I'm not too sure. We then go to Iska and friends who hear about their base getting attacked by an astral art. So someone's done a poo-poo on the base, exploded it and everything. Uh, but they've got to keep searching for the Vortex anyway, that's their job. Boss then spots the big Vortex light, because uh, apparently they didn't put a roof on the Vortex so everyone can see the light. Like, that seems pretty not discreet, I'm just going to be honest with you. Then the friend rolls up, Miss Mrs. Friend, the boss captain's uh, friend from like last week or whatever, and I was like, well, she's a friend. Turns out, no, the friend and her compadres are actually... All witches, they're all spies, and they, I didn't see that coming, I'm going to be honest. Like, I was like, oh, I thought they were just going to be like, we will get the Vortex for ourselves to, you know, get glory for the Empire for us, for us basically, so we get promotion. But no, turns out they're not even with the Empire, who could know? Uh, she takes Captain hostage, electrocutes her neck, which I'm pretty sure would have done more damage than just knocking her out, but it just knocked her out, so good thing. Nameless, the armoured dude, shows up to save, he's like, idiots... Like, why would you do this? Because he, he knew that they were spies, but he was basically, like he said, he was like, if you don't get in my way, we're cool, basically. Like, I'll let you do whatever, just don't get in my way. They got in his way. Um, he's, he goes to stab. He killed three of them, and then the, the friend is the last one alive. Uh, and he goes to, like, throw a knife at her, but then Iska blocks the knife because it was going to go through the captain, and he's not about that. And he's like, idiot, you want to go to jail again? And Iska's like, hey, we've we got a tracker on it. We got, we got a better plan, and he's like, you know what, do whatever. Um, we're going to bomb the enemy now, so, uh, you know, you got do what you're going to do, but we're, we're bombing them, basically. We're not going to hold fire to save you guys. So, uh, yeah, n Nameless is all business. I don't, I don't see him as particularly evil, he's just like, he's all business. Following in his orders to the letter. Uh, don't, don't interfere with that man, he's a scary dude. But the rest of Team Iska, uh, that's Iska and the other two, yes, I've forgotten their names, haha. <laughs> Uh, they're going to go save the captain because I hope she doesn't become a that become a recurring theme because it does seem like she's the t one that's always going to need to be saved. I can definitely see it. Oh god, I can see it happening as well. 
The vortex, it turns out, is only a small vortex. Only like a couple people can use it to power up and the Masked Lord has just got this look on his face the whole time. Then Alice sees that they've got Miss Miss captive and Miss Miss always is like, oh, I, I know you, I saw you at the city. But Rin knocks her out before she can do that, which is lucky, lucky for Alice. And because Alice has spotted her, that makes her all excited. Why is she excited? Because that means she has to fight Iska again. She makes Rin make them a rock golem horsey and off they go to victory. It's like, let's go to the base and kill some bitches so we can fight Iska again is basically what her thought process is. It, it's... It's not the most out there thought process. It kind of makes sense. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I think that makes sense. Like I, I can, her brain, she's a big brain move. Let's just go with that. I'm going to do the Iska stuff on its own and then I'll go to the Alice stuff afterwards. So Team Iska has tracked down uh, Miss Miss the captain. There's a missile go off. Uh, you know, they're just adjusting their aim slightly. You know how it works. Uh, they head in. Iska gets Miss Miss pretty, pretty damn quick actually and then starts deflecting the lightning from the friend and the friend is like my lightning how could you then out of nowhere kissing shows up uh, and uses her thorn power to delete a missile i don't know how else to describe it other than delete all the thorns are cg obviously they looked fine like i i i don't think it looked too bad at any point like it looked a bit off at points but never like to the point where it was like oh god hideous you know it was just eh um, but yeah, now she goes starts to fight th with them, then it cuts to the Alice stuff. We're gonna stick with the Iska stuff because it's easier for me. Uh, Iska's doing some sweet blocks and dodges through the thorns and everything. He's doing a pretty good job. And then it turns out she can, whatever the thorns absorb, I guess, she can, like, keep it. It's like the pocket, you know Smash Brothers, right? The villager has, like, the pocket where he pockets the projectile and you can use it later. She's basically got that, so she drops a nuke on him. Iska gets nuked, basically, uh, and that's, he's dead, that's where we end the Iska section, nothing, that, I mean, that's just the end, he's dead, series over, let's, at least we've got Alice, let's go see what she's up to, so she's at the empty base, they already retreated, I should have mentioned that, um, and then they get, she gets attacked by Nameless, and they get in, they get into a fight, uh, she does the ice swords, Nameless is pretty cool, he catches the, the ice swords, and he's like, whoa, is that all you've got, and he throws them, Gets a slice on Alice's neck. That was close. You could have, uh, you could have died right there. You know, Iska got nuked. That you could have, like, just whoosh, you would have died. Terrible, terrible stuff. Uh, but then she's like, okay, I underestimated you. I'm gonna go all out now. And so she does. She freezes the entire area, big old radius, uh, longer than the, the whole base and more. She freezes, uh, nameless. Does manage to escape though because hey he's not gonna die that easily he's got cool armor are you kidding me? Um, yeah he gets away and Alice is like poor damn it where's Iska? Uh, and then then the nuke goes off and she's like huh I wonder if Iska's at that nuke that's by the uh, by the vortex I know it's not actually a nuke before people start being like actually it was just a regular bomb I know it's for the funnies okay uh, Alice is gonna go save Iska. Go see Iska. I don't know what her plan was. So I'm being completely honest. But uh, she's going to go where Iska is. That's that's the damn for sure thing. So yes, obviously Iska survived the nuke. Because he's he's got that perk. He's, he's strong. He's strong. He's a strong boy, that old Iska. Uh, she then makes the thorns... Uh, kissing, this is. Makes the thorns into the thorn dragon and everything. But it doesn't do too well. He very quickly gets behind her and just KOs her with a punch to the sternum. Probably hurt quite a lot. And he said, like, what did he say? He said, like, don't just rely on your ability or something. So my guess is she's going to take that advice to heart. And she's going to learn some actual, like, combat tactics other than just thorn everything. Because that's not a tactic. That's a... I mean, it's a, it's a decent tactic. But hey, she can... She's always got more tactics. Uh, then... The Master Lord stabs Iska in the back, doesn't get super deep, but because they were going to take uh, Kissing captive, Master Lord's like, can't allow that. So he stabs Iska and then kicks Miss Miss into the, um, into the vortex. And uh, he, he, Iska, jumps in after her. Alice is there as well and sees this. She also jumps in, it turns out. Uh, and then she's like, I'll help you get out if we can fight each other afterwards. And he's like, you know what? Deal. Then they hold hands. It's very cute. She has this little blush on her face. I'm like, now is not the time, lady. You know, there's a, they're literally falling to their doom, astral doom. And uh, she's, she's like, oh, kawaii, hold hands. You know, it's like, man, not the time. Uh, the astral energy sort of bursts, I guess. And that sends, sends them flying in different directions. Um, 
kind of curious as to why exactly they needed Alice's help. Yes, they got a foothold briefly, but they got launched without the ice, so uh, they would have been fine, I guess. She just jumped in so they could hold hands, I'm, I presume. After that, they're there. Alice says she's all like, stay alive until we can fight the next time with a big old smile on her face. Whereas Iska is uh, looking at the little ice crystal and he's like, damn it, now I owe her one, you know? So, uh, yeah, that was where we ended the episode. Uh, this kind of felt like a side story, I'm going to be honest, this whole situation. Uh, but it probably isn't. In fact, I'm, other than the end bit, I'm pretty sure the fact that they fell in the, uh, the vortex, I wouldn't be surprised if the captain got magic powers now. Like, I can genuinely see that. I don't think Iska will, because, I mean, if we're being frank, he doesn't need them. <laughs> he doesn't need the magic powers, whereas the captain is a little bit useless. Uh, so it would be nice... To see her have powers so she can do cool things, basically. That that would be nice. Uh, and if she is does get powers, will she, she'll probably be excommunicated from the Empire. And presumably Iska will help her escape and basically be like, Alice, please. She's She's got powers now. Help! I know I owe you one, I'll owe you another one. Help a brother out. And then she'll be like, fine, I can't say no to you, backer. And then she'll take her and then they'll have another person on the magic squad. That's kind of what I think, anyway. She'll probably serve directly under Alice. I'm like fantasy booking this whole thing right now. So if I'm completely wrong and they don't get magic powers from that, well, you know. It's fun to have a guess, isn't it? It's fun to have a guess. What was my favourite part of this week's episode, though? Let's take a look. So I considered having it be the twist where, you know, I completely didn't see it coming at all. The the tra the betrayal, the top 10 anime be betrayal. Uh, but no, I'm, it's too minor a thing, and uh, the friend was kind of like, she's just a lackey to the to, to the actual villains. So uh, no, that's not going to be what my uh, what my favourite part is. Instead, I'm going for the, the dueling fights. Uh, I think Iska definitely had the better fight. They were both really short, though. That's kind of the sad thing. Like, what we saw was pretty good, but, uh, you know, it, 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 a bit longer, maybe. But the fact that there was two of them, uh, and Iska especially, did some cool deflections and stuff, and the CG didn't look that bad. Uh, I'm 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 gonna go with the dual fights. Fights are always an easy pick for favorite parts because they're pretty. Uh, I don't want to say they're hype because uh, it's not exactly the right word, but it was pretty like yeah, getting in the mood. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but yeah, not sure where we're going from now on unless the captain gets magic powers. That's what I'm thinking might happen. I could have completely misread the vortex and what it does, but surely that should be a thing that happens. Uh, and like I said, Iska doesn't need the magic powers, so. Uh, just give them all to the captain, basically. Uh, that'd be quite interesting. I hope they do that. I really do hope they do that. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and stuff. For more reviews, that would help me out a lot. I will see you next week for another episode of this. Take care, and bye guys.